Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Huck. Today I am doing my summer TBR. So these are the books that I'm going to be reading in June, July, and August. Obviously this video is coming a little bit late because when this is going up it's either the end of June or it's going to be the beginning of July. So like June has already come and gone pretty much. I'm just very behind on my videos but we're doing it now. So first I want to recap my spring TBR and what I did or did not read. On my spring TBR I had six books which were The Golden Fool by Robin Hobb, The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern, The Ten Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow, Lady of the Forest by Jennifer Robertson, The Wild Wood by Charles DeLint, and The Game of Kings by Dorothy Dunnett. Of these six, I read three, I DNF'd one, and I started one of them, uh, but I think I'm going to be coming back to it later. So I'm just going to tell you which ones I read or DNF'd and what ratings I gave them. First up, I read The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern, which I gave two or 2.5 stars. Then I read Lady of the Forest by Jennifer Robertson, which I gave three stars. And the last book that I finished was The Ten Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow, which I gave four stars. The book that I DNF'd was The Wild Wood by Charles DeLint. And the one that I started but didn't continue with, but I haven't like DNF'd it, DNF'd it, was The Game of Kings by Dorothy Dunnett. I think that I'm just gonna have to like come back to this one at some point. Um, but I just was not in the right like headspace to read it. And so the book that I totally didn't get to was of course The Golden Fool, which I have been meaning to read this for like a year now and even putting it on my TBR didn't get me to read it. Someday it's gonna happen, um, but not this time apparently. So for all the books that I either completed or DNF'd, I will leave the uh, videos where I discuss them down below if I have individual reviews or a wrap up or a DNF video where I talk about them those will be in the description if you want to hear more of my thoughts about them. All right, so now we're on to the six books that I'm going to be reading in the summer. So for me, the summer is going to be June, July, and August. The first book that I'm gonna talk about is one that I'm actually currently reading, um, but I had been planning to put it on this TBR anyways, but since I'm getting it up so late, I needed to get started on the TBR. Anyways, it's The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This is a multi-perspective um, adult sci-fi that has a cast of characters um, that are crew members on a ship called the Wayfarer. Um, and they're on a very large, long voyage um, going to a job that they are going to be doing. And it's really character focused and really um, about like this world and all of the different aliens and the characters in it. And as I said, since I'm getting this TBR up kind of late, um, I have already started this one. Next, I have another sci-fi, which is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I think it's more like sci-fantasy, that it's a blend of the two. Um, this is a very well-known series that has been on my shelf for a while and I've been meaning to read it, but it's also part of my like top 10 books to read in 2020. So I'm putting it on this TBR to make sure that I get to it in the summer. I also have been planning to read this in the summer just because I want to be able to give like my full attention to it. Um, so I didn't want to read it while I was still like in school um, because I just feel like I'm going to love this one and I always hear amazing things about it and I just want to be able to like totally focus on it and also if I love it I want to be able to just binge it. Um, anyways, so this is about like I think like an apocalyptic future where there are all of these natural disasters and there are people who are able to control these natural disasters to some extent with magic. So there's some kind of earth magic and I love earth magic whatever form it takes so I'm very excited for that. So those were the two like sci-fis that I have been meaning to get to but next up I have a couple of fantasy books. First one being Empire of Sand by Tasha Suri. This is another one that I've been meaning to get to for a long time and I really hope I'm going to love it. I hear really good things about it. It's a desert fantasy and I have heard that it has like a really great very slow burn romance in it and I love a slow burn romance so I'm really excited for that. Desert fantasy isn't something that I'm usually like drawn to, but I also am very interested to like read more desert fantasy to see if it's something that I like. 
Next I have House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig um, and this is a YA fantasy that is like a dark retelling of the 12 dancing princesses. That's about all I know about it. I think it takes place on an island and there are princesses who start dying. Um, and I know that a lot of people were reading this around Halloween and people were saying that it is pretty creepy. Um, so I'm really interested to read that. I like 12 Dancing Princesses retellings, at least the ones that I have read before. So I'm really interested in this. Next I have Shorefall by Robert Jackson Bennett. This is another adult high fantasy. This is the second book in the Founders trilogy. It's the second book to Foundry Side, which I read last year and really enjoyed. Um, and I actually haven't hauled this one yet, so you'll probably be seeing this in a haul very soon. I don't really know what this is about. I don't really want to know what it's about. I want to go in with as little much, as little information as possible. I really enjoyed the first book last year and I just want to like go into this and experience it whatever it ends up being. But I have been meaning to read this. This came out in April and I had like pre-ordered it and it came and I was so excited and now it's July and I have not read it yet um, so I'm putting it on this TBR hopefully to like force myself to read it because I am really excited for it but for some reason I just keep not reading it so it's gonna happen this summer hopefully. And for my last book on my summer TBR I thought it'd be fun to try something a little bit different this time and let you guys vote on what book you would want me to read this summer. So I have three options here and I'm going to put a poll on the video and it'll have these three options so I will tell you what the three options are. The first one is The Thief by Megan Wallen Turner. This is a YA fantasy that I don't hear a lot of people talking about, but whenever they do, people love this. Um, it is about a thief who boasts that they can steal anything and then that gets them in over their head when they get the opportunity to steal an object that is straight out of legend. Um, and I think it is also very political. And as I said, I just hear really great things about this and it's very short. So I don't know why I haven't gotten to this yet. Option number two is The Tree of Ages by Sarah C. Kothal. And this I think is a self-published book. Um, and I think it's fantasy, but I'm not sure if it's YA or if it's adult. But in this, our main character has been living for the last century as a tree and then she turns back into her human form um, and kind of has to readjust to being among humans in this world. Um, also I think there used to be fey but they have since disappeared and have kind of like retreated into legend but there are rumors that the fey may be back and our main character ends up kind of wrapped up um, in like I don't know, like the politics of the world and has to make a decision about whether she is going to go save this girl who has been kidnapped by the Fae who have returned or if she is going to go after this like magical relic. And I'm really excited for this one for the nature magic that I'm assuming it's going to have and the fact that the main character has been living as a tree. So I'm really hoping it would have some nature vibes. And option number three is The City of Dreaming Books, which is an adult fantasy that I think was originally published in German and translated to English. Um, and this is a book about books, which is why I was interested in it. And in it, our main character, whose name is Optimus Yarnspinner, which is quite a name, um, inherits a unpublished manuscript from an unknown writer and then decides that he needs to figure out where this manuscript came from and who the author was. So he goes to the City of Dreaming Books, which is this entire city that's like dedicated to books and seems like a dream to any reader. Um, but there's like a dark seedy underbelly to the city that he discovers in his quest to find the origin of this manuscript. And I think that it has a bunch of like different kinds of creatures and things. I think that the main character might be like a dinosaur or something. I'm not sure about that but like you can also see there's like a little monster creature on the cover here and I just I get the feeling this is going to be really weird but also really fun maybe um, and it's a book about books. So those are the three books that you can vote on. Again the first one is The Thief, second one is Tree of Ages, and third is City of Dreaming Books. 
So you can go tell me which one you would like me to read. You can vote on them whether it's a book that you have read or not. If you have read it and you think I would love it, if you want, if you haven't read it and you want to see what my thoughts are before you do, whatever your reasons, let me know which one of these three you would like for me to read this summer. All right, so those are all of the books on my summer TBR. Of course, I will be reading others as well, but these are some of the ones that I am specifically intending to get to. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, bye!